So in the previous episode, we had Blade Miss make his debut. Now, if you missed it, don't worry. Just click on the channel, click on the playlist, and watch from episode number one up to the current episode. Now, today, we have Eddie Matthews making his debut. 76 overall. Get 76 likes on this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new and end up enjoying today's content. Turn on that notification bell. Go to the channel, community tab, and make sure you interact with me there because that's where you get to vote on the player choice packs and vote on which player programs I go ahead and complete. You guys picked Eddie Matthews first. So Eddie Matthews is the first player program that we're going to complete out of the evolution pack. And last but not least, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Blade Miss, same way it's spelled on the YouTube channel username. So we got Mark from a pack in the previous episode. We're going to have Babe Ruth still lead off, then Soler, Blade, Mark, Eddie, Michael, Naylor, Baez. Now, I'm a little bit worried for the starting rotation because Corbin is out of energy, so we can't use him. So we either have to use Carlos or Michael Fulmer. I think we're going to go with Carlos, see how long he lasts. But luckily enough, one of you guys reminded me that in the showdown, one of the ones we are allowed to complete. There is, where's the starter one? There is a Brett Saberhagen at the end. So we are going to be getting ourselves a gold starting pitcher. And he's going to be the next one to make his debut. So stay tuned for that. Enough of the chit chat. Let's jump in. So we're going to be away for this game. We are facing the Philadelphia Crushers. He has Roy Oswald on the mound. That is Definitely not a pitcher I want to see. His team, clearly a far superior team. His lowest tier card is that silver Ivan Rodriguez. Luckily for Eddie Matthews, though, there is a righty on the mound. Let's go ahead and kill it. Working the count here, 2-2 count to Babe Ruth, looking to get on base. We're hitters always. Inside fastball. I honestly thought the PCI was right on it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I thought I pieced that up better than I had pieced up any pitch in any at-bat with Babe Ruth. Full count still. Got to get a base hit here. Got to get on base some way, somehow. And that's going to be ball four. So that's going to bring up Blade. 2-1 count to Blade after we were very early on the slider. Let's go. I did not think that was getting through, to be honest, but let's go. That's going to bring up Mark. 2-1 count. I'm trying to have Eddie Matthews come up this inning. Right down the middle, right back up the middle. 48 speed. Should be enough. Please go back to first. Let's go. All right. Eddie Matthews with runners on the corners. No ground outs. 2-1 count. He's being very careful with Eddie. That pitch was absolutely destroyed by Eddie Matthews. It wasn't even inside the strike zone. I don't know how he got his arms extended on that one. It doesn't matter to me. Welcome to the kingdom, big boy. That's exactly how we like to start things off. They took away my logo on my away jerseys. I just realized that. It's supposed to say New York across. I definitely have to go and add them back. That's crazy. That is wild. I cannot believe it. Now, I do know that this Mickey Mantle, he's not too good against lefties. He's not good at all against lefties. So I'm more willing to just go ahead and attack him. Javier Baez. Javier Baez. That's all I got to say to that. And then let's finish it off with the change up in the dirt, please. If he would have went ahead and stole with me, it's going to be an easy out at first. 0-2 count to Javier. Looking to get on base. 12-6, it hung, good squared. We're gonna get a base hit. I'm not sure what his stealing is, but I might be looking to steal a bag here. I don't know whether to do a hit and run or not. I don't think a hit and run is worth it. Definitely don't think it's worth it. I don't wanna bun either. I wanna give my pitcher an opportunity to hit. <laughs> he manages to get on base regardless. Very late jammed, wow. Babe Ruth. That's fine. We just got a very late jam base hit. Get squared up. It evens out. Full count. Blade miss up next. I doubt he wants to see Blade miss. 
Ooh, that was a dot. I wasn't going to swing because I thought that was the outside corner, but that was a dot. He just dotted me up right there. Oh, one count. Come on, Blade. We got to drive in another run this inning. Hey, good, good. Not much you can do there. It's whatever. One for one in his debut. Make that two for two with a solo shot. So, right now it's Mark, Carlos, and Eddie Matthews. Once again, welcome to the kingdom. I'm supposed to have the logo across, but I don't know what it is. They just removed it. Let's get on base. Let's get on base. Let's get on base. Should have been get squared up, but I'll take good okay as a base hit. Babe Ruth, let's drive him in. 2-2 two, two count now to Jorge Soler. Base hit up the middle. That's all I asked for. Just a base hit. That's going to allow Blade Miss to come up. Hopefully Blade Miss can hit a three-run bomb. Oh, that was cool. 2-1 count here for Blade. Come on, turn on something. Turn on. Damn, I was late on that. Yeah. 100% late week. He got lucky. He got lucky, but I definitely bailed him out. That pitch should have been driven. 1-0 count to Mark. Looking to stay perfect. This is supposed to be Eddie Matthews' game. This is supposed to be Eddie Matthews' debut. But this is also Mark's debut. And it seems that Mark is basically telling Eddie Matthews, Hey man, I don't give a damn if it's your debut. I'm a shine. Let's go with an outside changeup, Wit. Let's see if you can roll over. What did I expect to happen? If I hang a changeup, you gotta expect it to be basically banged. Let's go, Jorge. Hip hip. Jorge. Let's get a shot. Let's get a shot going. Man, how am I late on these pitches? Well, that's unfortunate. That's going to go down as a double. That's very unfortunate. 0 1 count to Blade looking to get on base. <clears throat> you can't throw that right there and not expect me to turn on it. Mark, welcome to the kingdom. I forgot to say it last time. Looks like you're just going to get a base hit this time around. He's 4 for 4. He's the MVP so far. 0-1 count to Eddie Matthews. Early squared up slider right at the second baseman. We just had an early okay foul ball home run. Or else he would have had two three-run home runs in the same game. I'm not going to lie to you all. I'm a little bit scared to throw him off speed pitches just because his swing is so slow right now. We've hung two change-ups. Both change-ups have been absolute each hit he's gotten in this game has been on a hung changeup. Babe Ruth is currently 0 for 4, not looking to make it 0 for 5. Not looking to make it 0 for 5. Let's go. He gets himself a base hit. Horace Soler, I think he's 2 for 4. He should be 1 for 4, but you guys saw the fielding miscue. 2 for 0 1 count. He hits me. That's gonna bring up Blade one count he gets the slider he rolls over that's gonna be a base hit so he's five for five three one count we should be getting something to crush hi dios mio how are you late on that full count i doubt he wants to basically walk him in we're stealing as well What in the world was that? I thought everybody was going to steal. Not only that, but good week. I was trying to turn on that bad boy. 0-2 count. Carlos looking for the complete game. The pitch. A slider inside. He's going to go ahead and swing for the strikeout. MVP has to be Mark. Even though Carlos threw a complete game, MVP 100% has to be Mark. No doubt about it. So, Mark is the MVP. Two home runs, four RBIs. Eddie Matthews went one for five. Unfortunately... He didn't do his job, but hey, at least he hit a dinger. Anyways, actually, we're not ending it here. We have a bunch of packs to open up. 
from doing the program. Plus, I'm pretty sure we're about to see the reward screen, see if there's anybody that can help this team out that we can get. Hopefully, we see Mike Trout. So we got plus 48 there. Joey Wendell, probably the best option. We get the universal icon. That's fine with me. We got some packs to open up. Three standards. Let's see what we get. Nothing that really helps us. Oh, snap. We get ourselves a second baseman. Not really a better hitter. So I don't think he makes the cut. Just doesn't. Unfortunately for him. Masahiro Tanaka. I like that. Let's add him. Let's replace a lefty with him. Because we have way too many lefties in my opinion. And then one more pack. Man, the fact that I saw four straight bronzes. It led me to believe that for some reason. I was about to see a. What do you call it? I was about to see a diamond or something along those lines. I think we do put Odor over Michael 100%. And then we add a new bullpen arm for the lowest overall, which is Jake Barrett. So that's good enough for me. And then gear up. We need something to help out Blade. So he needs some cleats. He doesn't have any cleats. He has some arm sleeves. Let's put on these cleats and let's call it a day. So next up. Is going to be Brett Saberhagen making his debut after we finish the starter showdown. If you did end up enjoying today's content, make sure you hit that like button. We're aiming for what's his overall again, 76 likes. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on that notification bell. Follow me on all social medias at BladeMist, same way it's spelled. On the YouTube channel, username. Click on the channel, community tab, and make sure you vote there and interact with me there. Because that's how you vote on the player programs and the choice packs that we will receive in the future. Have a blessed day and night. Stay positive, stay safe, stay blessed. Take care of yourself, your family. If you're feeling sick, quarantine and get yourself checked out. Love you all. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.